Hello, we have covered a lot in the Azure DevOps and today we'll see that how you can do bulk updates, right? So when you are in a project, you have to create task in the starting of the sprint and sometimes you miss to add a tag and you want to do things in bulk. So sometimes with the UIS tools, all the tools don't provide that capability, but most of them maybe Jira I have not used, but they will be providing an integration with Excel by which you can do things in bulk. So let's see in this video that how we can do the updation in bulk for the work items in Azure DevOps. Let's begin. So these are some of the queries that I have written earlier in our queries session where we have talked that what are the various queries that would be helpful in a, any project, right? Maybe even if you are using another tool as well, these uh, queries uh, will help you and we have discussed many of them. So I have opened few of them, for example, the task assigned to me, right? And uh, this tree structure, which is extremely helpful where you can see the feature user story and the task. And what if that there is a new sprint starting and you have to create task. It will take a lot of time, right? If you will go there and you click on this and create a new linked work item, right? And just click on task and I'll name it as test case creation task, right? Or test case execution or automation, right? For this story for user profile, say, right? This is one task. And sometimes we have some particular task and I'll have to select if I need to change iteration and all. Right, and I can create a copy of this task, but how to do it via Excel? Let's see. So first of all, let me open a new Excel. So here you should have a Teams tab. So that is a prerequisite and how you will get it. So I'll share a link uh, with, with you in this. There is a place like, uh, so I'll share this link with you. You should download this Azure DevOps Office integration. Right. Otherwise, you will get an error. Once you download it, click on file, go to options here. And then in the add-ins, click here, com add-ins, click on go. You will see that Azure DevOps add-in. You have to click on this and then you will see that there is a team tab over here. And uh, once you come to this, click on this new list. And you will like I have added this earlier, but you can add the server and how you will add the server is uh, like here till here is your organization as we have discussed in the previous videos, right? And it will ask you which project you want. So since I have already added it, it will ask you to log in as well. So I have given my email ID and then it has downloaded this, right? So I already have the server added and I can see that various projects. So let me open this tailwind sample. I'll connect to this and it will give me that which query you want to run. So this was the query that I was showing you maybe at epic level or user story level. Let me show you. So once I open this, it will open in this format right now. Creating a task or user story is very easy. So for example, let if I want to create a task over here, what I can do is I can simply say that test automation for shopping cart. Okay, this is a task. And if I want to assign, I can assign it to someone. I want to put the status as new because if you give active, it will give error because a new task cannot have a status as active, right? And what category it falls in? Like, is it a user story? Is it a bug? It is a feature. So let me call it a task, right? And also let me create a user story as well. You can do an insertion and Let's give a user story as a user. I want to do payment, right? And if I want to give a tration, I'll give like this, right? So if you see, we have created two things over here. One is this user story in which there is no ID, right? You can see here, no IDs are assigned to this. After that, what you'll have to do is you simply have to click on publish. If there are any errors, you will see some errors. Otherwise you'll see that that we got the IDs assigned 149 and this 150. Let's see that whatever we did got published or not. So let me open that user story query now and let's see that whether we had, yeah, this is the task which came automatically here, right? And there is one user story that we created. So the user story was having the ID as 150. Let's see that is there is something with 150, yeah? We can see that a user story got created, right? 
and if i open all of this we have the task as well so this is a way you can do it and uh, one thing that you can do is that you will see an option here open in excel this option only comes if you there is a marketplace where if you type open in excel yeah this one so you can get it for free right you can install it and even get it so sometimes if you open like this it will directly open but you should have these things and you can just refresh the data you can manage all the things from here but be careful that you don't delete anything right because it's a bulk update you can do mistakes here so be careful and you can open new query and click on new list and then for example resolve or assign to me i have to open all those things which are assigned to me i can see it here if i miss to add a tag i can add a tag say testing here right so that i can differentiate the tasks and then i can do the publish if i want right i made some changes i can do the publish and it will be going over there right and you can then refresh the data and it gives the option to do some of the things from here like add child tree child but i have explained you this complicated one where is a tree structure then it maintains the linking as well so hope you like the video and you can now do bulk updates from excel thank you for watching you can subscribe and let me know if you want to cover any specific topics in this